Hello everyone, it's a beautiful question and in order to solve such questions, we need to draw two free body diagrams, one just before cutting and another just after cutting. So let's do this here. This is the picture just before cutting. The gravitational pull on this block is 3mg. The gravitational pull on this block is mg. You agree with this? The string has the tension P and since it is a light inextensible string, so everywhere tension will be same. Here is also the tension P. The spring force we consider here as Fs. Agree with this? Here the entire system is at rest. So the net forces are balanced. Writing this Fs is equal to T plus 3mg and here we can write P is equal to mg. Clear? This value of T I am submitting here. So Fs is equal to mg plus 3mg which means the Fs was equal to 4mg. And this is evident logically also. Here is the spring. Below the spring, how much is the hanging mass? 4m. The gravitational pull is 4mg. So the spring force should also be 4mg. And while making the direction of tension, I hope you remember tension in a string is always shown in such a manner so that it can pull. Because tension in a taut string can only pull. So the tension is pulling here. The tension is pulling here. Done. Now we need to draw a separate diagram just after cutting. Look at the language of the question. The question is asking us the magnitude of the acceleration immediately after cutting. So another diagram is like this. Here is the spring. Here is the mass 3m and here is the mass m. The string has been cut. From here we have cut the string. Okay. Now will the length of spring change? What is your opinion just after cutting? Correct. The length of spring will not change because the spring force is written as kx. K is the constant of the spring and X is the elongation or compression in the spring. Initially, the spring was stretched. Now, moment we cut the thread, the spring will require some time to change its length. But that much time is not given in the question. Question is asking the accelerations just after cutting. You get it? It means the spring will remain intact as it is. It cannot change its length immediately in this situation. It will require some time because here is the mass of the ceiling. Here is this block having mass 3m. The spring is connected in between them. To change its length, it will require some time. So immediately after cutting, if we draw the free body diagram, the gravitational pull on this block is mg. Here is 3mg. These two forces will remain intact as it is. As the string is broken, so the tension here is zero. So I'm not showing the tension. And this spring force Fs, it will be yet 4mg just after cutting. Because the spring cannot change its length immediately in this situation where it is connected between these two masses. Now we require the acceleration of each block. We can easily sense the upward force is 4mg, downward is 3mg. So the net force on this block is upward. Means it's going to accelerate in this direction. And that acceleration can be obtained using Newton's second law. Acceleration is equal to net force divided by mass. So 4mg minus 3mg divided by 3m. That acceleration comes out to be g by 3. Here is the first answer. Now, 
if we look at this block is in free fall and for any body in free fall what we consider correct its acceleration is equal to g i hope you understood the answers or if you want to do the calculation that is also simple acceleration of b is equal to net force divided by its mass stay awesome see you again